I'm Paul Dye with Kit Planes Magazine. We're here at the DeLand Sport Aviation Showcase looking at new designs. One of the airplanes we've been following at shows for several years is the Commuter Craft Innovator, and here it is almost ready to fly. This is the Innovator aircraft. It was originally conceived as an airplane that would help bring more people into aviation. To do that, we felt like we had to have good performance, but we also needed to have really good uh, low speed handling characteristics since we're going to be attracting new pilots into, uh, into the community. So we wound up going with a three surface design because, because it would give us stall spin characteristics that we felt like were very important, but also have lower uh, handling speeds, lower landing speeds, so that we would have a better environment for a new pilot. Uh, the aircraft being a three surface design is also a very good cross country platform because it's typically a lot more, a lot smoother and turbulence and those types of things. So we feel like that that's really its mission is to be a good cross country aircraft for someone that wants to get into aviation really go places. This aircraft is an experimental aircraft. It's basically built by the purchaser as a, as a kit. But in our case, they actually come to the facility and build it in our tooling. Uh, that way their they're, uh, precision, they're spending their time building an airplane, not building jigs to build an airplane. And they also have the benefit of having our staff there for reference to help make sure that they do it the proper way. And if they have questions, they learn the answer to those questions instead of having to guess. So this way they can build the aircraft much faster uh, their total time in the plant is, is basically focused on building the airframe and then they have, once they've met their 51% requirement, we complete the aircraft for them. We put the engine instruments and uh, the interior and paint the aircraft so they have a complete aircraft ready to go. First flight on this aircraft will be within the next couple of weeks. We are, uh, when we get back to, our, uh, to Georgia, we have our DAR inspection scheduled. Then we'll start into taxi test, and as soon as uh, everybody feels comfortable, we'll get it in the air. So one thing we won't rush is flight test. Our first kits are really to uh, what we call a group of alpha builders. They're the first builders, builders who have built several aircraft before, and those aircraft will be, they've actually started some of the building process on a couple of those aircraft now, and uh, we'll be well into production on those by the end of the year, and uh, we hope to have the first four aircraft built and flying by next summer. Uh, then we, that helps guide us into the general production uh, process. We'll have a few more what we call beta builders, but they're really going to be just some of the early general builders. They don't have necessarily the background, but we will have finalized the process by then. And so essentially third quarter of 2019, we expect to be in full general production.